Hey there everyone, Redneck Brian here. I know it's been a few days since I did a video. It's been fairly crummy weather. As you can see, we've still got snow. More on why the trailer's moved in a minute. And uh, it's finally starting to melt, but it froze the other night. So it's real icy out and I've been busy with doing this sort of stuff, dealing with the snow. And uh, this video is not really about the weather. It's about what I picked up today and just a general update. Picked up some lights for all three, the three main tractors. I'm not including the LT2000. I picked up lights for the GT6000, the Roper, and the Red Rocket. These ones here, this one here first off, it's LED. I don't know if you can see it, it's a blue LED. These are going in the headlights on the Red Rocket. Uh, the headlights that are on it, they're kind of real crappy. Um, they're not really well done and uh, I couldn't really find uh, those actual housings. So I'm just going to stick these in there, just for show, to look kind of cool. I got two sets of these ones here, they're red. These are going to go on the back. Uh, two of them are going on the Red Rocket. One's going on the uh, one's going on the GT6000 and one's going on the Roper. Okay, I got these lights here, more LEDs. And I didn't realize these actually have their own wiring harness, switch and everything in them. Not a big deal, the more, more wire the better. These are LEDs, these are going to go in the front end of the GT6000. I may remove the lenses. If they'll fit in around the lenses, I will keep the lenses. And on the Roper, hopefully I can hide them behind the stock lenses on the Roper. I picked up 200 feet of wire, red and black. These might end up going back because I have wire. These are 14 bucks a piece. I could have got 25 feet for 10 bucks, but I figured spend an extra $4 plus tax each and I can get a hundred feet. And I bought two sets of spark plugs. I know they're E3s. I could have got the real cheap ones for $4. Um, these were $8, I believe. But um, on Red Rocket, to change the plugs, I'll show you in a minute, it's a pain in the ass with the hood on. So let's go over to the Red Rocket. Got a big update on it. As you can see, it's back on all fours. And I've actually drove it. I drove it uh, yesterday for the first time. I tried to drive it on Thursday, but I could not get it to stay running. And I had, turns out I had two bad spark plugs. So I was switching around some plugs and I got two in it that worked. And um, I'm gonna replace them again with the brand new ones. But it's fast, no belt slippage. As you can see, the hood's off. The, basically to access the spark plugs. That's why I bought a little bit, kind of better quality spark plugs. Some people will disagree on me that the E3s are better than the standards, but I've had E3s, I had them in my uh, Troy belt, and they worked fine in that, but I've had them in other stuff and they didn't work. So I'm gonna try E3s again, and hopefully they will work out. So that's just an update on this. Heck, it, it's fast, it's fun, but I unfortunately I lost First, second, and third gears, this uh, plastic piece is really starting to break on here. I gotta try to find a new one, or I may have one on that tractor right there, or there's one on that little red one behind it that I might be able to make fit. Yes. With the amount of torque that's on this, the plastic is gonna end up just completely breaking through, and I don't really wanna go top speed right out of the gate. It does kind of have brakes, but I kind of did a stupid thing. I forgot to hook up the brake lever underneath when I had the uh, fenders and everything off. So hopefully I can reach under there, excuse me, and hook it up. But also I gotta adjust my seat. Uh, actually, unfortunately my seat's all the way back already. Um, my seat is, um, it's kind of uncomfortable position to be driving. Right now the back end is actually lower than the front end because I still have the stock front end under it. And uh, it's kind of kind of a funny position to be driving in, especially if you're picking up some quite a bit of speed, which I did yesterday. Um, it, that's gotta get that front end done eventually. So nothing's really changed with the Roper. I've, I've been using it. I had someone comment and say, Oh, uh, he said something about something about being a redneck. I, cause I said I use my roper for work. I don't know if they meant rednecks don't necessarily work, or something along those lines. Some rednecks have to work. I, if I didn't have to work, I wouldn't. 
but I like working, it uh, keeps me busy, and I've actually, for the jobs I have, I've lost quite a bit of weight, which is a good thing. So, and now, I'm talking about redneck, in true redneck fashion, I picked up a new washer and dryer on the side of the road. That's why my uh, trailer has been moved. Um, I picked this up on Thursday. It's Saturday right now, so two days ago, um, when I was going to work. And these are on the side of the road, brand, fairly new washer and dryer. Uh, we're going to be bringing them in the house probably tomorrow. So, in true redneck fashion, new washer and dryer. Trash fine. Freebie, which is nice. They're, they had a sign on them that said working, so I'm going to take a chance. So anyways, that's it for now. I don't know if I'm going to get the lights done. Oh, and the uh, LT2000 is working good. I'm having problems with the one set of chains. It keeps on wanting to slip off. One set fit, fits perfectly fine. The other set is too long, so I'm going to end up having to cut it down to make them fit a little bit better. But other than that, with all the water that we had on Wednesday with the ice storm that we got, it wasn't really a snowstorm, it was more of an ice storm. When it started melting on the Wednesday, it was a lot of water, and this thing did beautifully. I, I did quite a few sidewalks, I did a couple hills, and this thing worked fine, other than losing my uh, tire chains on the one wheel. So, I don't know if I'm going to get to putting lights in today. I'm, I'm definitely doing the plugs. i got to get them done. But uh, the lights, I'm not sure about yet. Because um, I, I know I don't have the wiring in place for these ones at all. I have the wiring in place for these, but I don't know if I want to put the hood on yet. And the one tractor that these are going on, which is the GT6000, doesn't even run. The parts are on the way. I actually had an extra carburetor sitting in the shop from, an, I believe I said it already, from another Kohler I have, uh, or that I had, sorry, out of a white tractor. And um, the carburetor, same size, and this thing actually idled pretty good. But I had to change, I've changed the butterfly, I've got to change a few other parts. So anyways, I'm going to get the spark plugs done, and I'm going to go for a run on the Red Rocket. So I'll talk to everyone later. Please keep it redneck like always. And uh, please subscribe and comment. And if I have any more updates, I'll just do a separate video. Bye for now.